Um, I think I speak for all of us when I say we're really excited to be able to have the opportunity to play again. We lost some talent from last year, but I definitely think coming back with a stronger team, we got a couple more players back from other sports that couldn't happen, so we're really excited. We're all just grateful to be back here and play together and just some kind of normal throughout this year. Last year we had a young team. Our girls worked really hard over the summer in their club with our uh, coach Tammy Fuller. Just in these two practices we see a really strong uh, presence on the field. Our girls are seeing the vision really well. Uh, they're another year older and they're ready to rock. Actually we worked really hard this summer and we really are starting to work as a team. Um, good passes, working together and we're hoping we're gonna win a lot more games this year. I think we'll be pretty good this year. There's no more excuses this year because we're not a younger team anymore. We got some players back that we lost in the past few years. All of us really clicked well together on the field. Now you have the five seniors, but you also have a lot of young girls. What are you older girls trying to do to help to help bring them along in, in maybe their second year or maybe some of them their first year of varsity soccer? Just try and make them more confident in like the position they're playing. Have them be able to ask questions and not be afraid of sounding stupid, I guess, in a sense. Just want them to be more confident so we can win games this year. It is very difficult. We've all been in that position before being a younger player and looking up and feeling frightened. But at the end of the day, we're all one big family and the older, when we were younger, the older kids did the same for us and that's what we're trying to do for them. How much easier does that fact make all the changes and, and, and the difficulties with the masks and everything? Just, just knowing that you have girls by your side that you've been playing with and, and you're comfortable with. We definitely have been trying to, you know, encourage each other, like, we got it, come on, we know it's harder for everybody with the mask on and whatever, but again, we're just really grateful for the season and we're all picking each other up and working really hard, so the season will be great. We were really clear with our guidelines right up front. We got a positive reaction with our athletes. They've been nothing but great and compliant about everything. Same with our, our community as well. Uh, we know what we need to do to keep this thing rolling and moving forward. We're going to do our part to do so. How fortunate do you feel that you're able to be out here playing? Obviously, football, volleyball, and, and other sports aren't allowed to be out here uh, playing this fall. I think we all feel really fortunate. We all know that this could get taken away from us at any second, so we are really taking advantage of it and just enjoying every minute that we have here on the field. Yeah, we are really excited. We definitely feel for those kids who um, maybe lost out on their sport this fall, and we're hoping we give that to them later on. But we've also seen a lot of kids come out for a sport maybe they haven't played since modified or seventh grade. So they've taken advantage of the situation instead of looking at it as a negative, creating a positive.